Uh, I'm Grant Bowler. I play Jeb Nolan, who is the law keeper of Defiance. Julie Benz. I play Mayor Amanda Rosewater, and I'm the mayor of Defiance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Stephanie Leonidas, and I play Arissa, who is an Arathian alien, kind of his stepchild, alien stepchild. Redheaded stepchild. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm Jamie Murray, and I play Stamatar. I'm a caster fan, um, and I'm married to the lovely Daytac Tom. Um, I'm Mia Kirshner, and I play Kenya Rosewater, and I only sleep. <laughs> <laughs> My name's, my name's Tony Curran, I play uh, Daytac Tar, Stana's husband, and Daytac kind of has a, uh, he runs the underworld, underbelly of, uh, of Defiance. Graham Green, I play Rafe McCauley, and I uh, run the uh, more legitimate part of town. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> I own the Gulenite mine which uh, certain people want to get their hands on. <laughs> um, my question's for Grant. Just looking at pictures, uh, you kind of look like you have Han Solo, Indiana Jones swagger there with the leather jacket and that. Can you talk about whether anyone inspired your character and what your sense of him is? Sure. Uh, let me think. <laughs> I haven't asked myself that question yet. Um, he has the Han Solo Harrison Ford thing going on without the leather jacket. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he comes in in the morning. <laughs> That's the natural He's spider. Australian. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, suppose, I suppose that goes a little way of the way to, toward it. Um, yeah, there are definitely conversations we had uh, a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Before this thing uh, even had a, a script. Uh, you know, we wanted to, we're, uh, Kevin and, uh, and I and Scott Stewart were talking about, um, you know, a character that uh, kind of engendered some of those iconic, you know, those iconic, uh, well, parts of those iconic, iconic kind of past characters. Um, the interesting thing is with all of these kind of characters, as no doubt with my character eventually, they date because social mores and, and, and our culture moves on. So. Uh, I think you know the the interesting thing about playing this guy, this kind of classic anti-hero, is how does he fit now, and how does he fit, say, five years from now? And, and that's the real challenge: is is trying to make that kind of a thing constantly contemporary and not let it fall behind. You know, uh, and to do that, um, basically, I just pray and, uh, you know, and turn up and be a knucklehead every day and hope that you know sometimes I get it out of the park and sometimes I get to the bases. He does have a touch of John Wayne about him as well. I just realized. Like, <laughs> That's the way I walk, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like expected uh, sort of inspiration for his character, uh, he was in uh, Stephanie's character, was actually uh, Brian and Tina O'Neill in Paper Moon. Mm -hmm. But the fact that there's this uh, tenor and father and uh, daughter, the dad's not really a great guy, the, 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 the daughter is wise beyond her ears, and they kind of go from town to town essentially screwing people over, and that's kind of the backstory. So that, that always helps me. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, we were actually